I work with Satyagraha, I had a strong feeling that this is the perfect circus music. In my view, the uh, uh, circus as a art form is uh, the oldest. I think it's the beginning of performance begins with the circus. I don't think that performance began in the churches. That's what they teach you at school. They say, oh, the opera comes from the church. No, it's not true. It must come from the circus. At that time, I didn't know Philip by person, uh, only by music. But I had a strong feeling of that I did know him very well. I went to see it not knowing what I would see, and I was very pleased with it. She brought a, a whole dimension to it, which the opera directors won't even think about. We started to dream that night uh, about doing this circus opera <laughs> together. And, uh, and now the work is full on. Actually, I did a four years uh, research project where I was interviewing artists, how they are dealing with their fears and with the risk taking. And during this process, I also found the book Robert Lack's Circus Days and Night. I would say that the poems become my Bible during this process. <laughs> Therefore, it was such a, a special moment when I, when I met Philip Glass and he told me that he had bought the rights of these poems 10 or 15 years ago and, and have had a dream of doing this circus opera without founding his circus. <laughs> I'm curious about it too, but uh, I'm going to try to bring to it uh, uh, the musical language that I know. Uh, and to combine it with the movement language and the storytelling. Unlike Philip and Tilda, I did not know the poems of Robert Lax, uh, but Philip and I have done uh, four shows together. This will be our fifth. And so when he invited me to be part of this one, I read the poems and I was really touched by their beauty, their simplicity in a sense, uh, and yet their profundity, the way that Lax envisioned circus as an act of creation and the cycle of putting up a show, taking it down, is the cycle of life itself. We're trying to tell a story. If you can tell a story, you can tell it in a lot of ways. You can do it as a storyteller, you can do it as an opera, you can do it as in the circus. Think of it that way. Now we're going to try a new way of telling a story, using elements from other things. And for me, circus and opera are very similar in the way of it's both uh, two very equilibristic art forms, where, where, where both the opera singers and the circus artists, they are like in doing uh, the training to become like on the excellency of, of, of what we as human beings have capacity of doing. When we think of performance, I think of the basic performances where they must have been around the fire with people telling stories. And that eventually became, uh, it, it turned into entertainment of different kinds, and that went into uh, that became traveling shows, and that became operas and theater. This is the, uh, the, the story of opera, the story of a circus, the story of theater, is the story of telling stories. That's, that's what we know. That's the only thing we could do. 